Hi guys, welcome back. This is video update number 31. And you can see my tree has bark and it has been painted. So this bark is quite a bit different from what I normally do. I usually uh, make paper towel bark, but this bark is all clay. And I recently put a clay video up that should be coming up on your screen right about now. And I show you how I make it in my kitchen sink. I used five batches of that clay. So there's 30 cups of flour in this tree. I'm far from done yet. There's so many things I'm going to be adding to the exterior, like fungus and moss and all that kind of great stuff. But I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. So I started December 27th, 2017, and I had seven boxes. I believe there were seven that were stacked on top of each other and also side by side. And today, March the 4th, 2018, we have 29 rooms. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's including bedrooms, um, hallways, staircases, nook and cranny rooms, like these little rooms here. 29. I was not expecting the tree to come out this large. It's actually 4 foot 7. Right from the bottom here, all the way to the top is 4 feet 7 inches. I want to show you something. I am going to change something on the structure of this tree. Everything is great. I love everything, but except for that branch right there. That one looks a little bit too skinny to, to me. And because I did add a staircase here, if you're on Facebook, that's not new to you. But if you're not, then this is new. I should actually do a little update here. So this is the fourth floor. Uh, before, remember, I had a ladder. There it is there. And I was going to have access to this little landing with this ladder. But uh, after I painted the tree, then I stood back and I wasn't happy with how everything looked. Uh, just this front part, this looked too plain to me. So I kind of ripped it apart here in the front and then rebuilt this area here and added in this little staircase. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep a ladder there or not. I might build a staircase there. I'm not yet. I'm not yet sure. Anyway, we got that little um, space here that wasn't there before. And then it goes right up into that branch that is hollowed out. That's going to get bigger. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because it's too skinny for one. And the other thing is, when I did this part here, I got an extra space up on the fifth floor there. Let me get on my chair. So because I added this staircase here, that added that much more space on the outside. You can see it here. This is where it used to end, right here. But what I'm thinking is that branch that I'm going to put here is going to be a lot bigger. So it will come out here and you'll see the opening inside here. Maybe a little bedroom off in there or something. So I waited for the sun to go down here in my part of Canada to show you the tree all lit up. And it's actually not even completely lit up yet. I have to string a few more lights. And once I remake that little branch up there, that's going to get strung with lights. And then there's going to be a string in this one as well. So it's going to get even more light than there is now. And I added a room I haven't showed you yet on the side there. I'm pointing to it. There's no light in it. Um, I actually expanded out the bark there. So I was able to create a little room. There's going to be a nursery in there. Because now I'm going to tell you who's moving in. I know that most of you thought or took for granted it's going to be gnomes. But it's not going to be gnomes at all. Because I already have a gnome home. <laughs> We needed more mice. This tree is going to be full of mice by the time I'm done. There's going to be a mom, a dad, and a bunch of kids, and there might even be a mother-in-law. I haven't decided yet. But definitely going to be a tree full of mice. And if you want to see the characters, I already have them planned out. I actually made uh, the mom and dad and one of the kids in 2015. They've been on my blog since then. So, But I have to remake them because they're a little bit too big for this tree. But I'll keep their names and their biographies. And uh, yeah, so there's going to be Mary and Arthur moving in. And I'll put that link in the description box below and you can check out that couple. They're pretty cute. They're going to look slightly different by the time I'm done, but definitely going to be uh, Mary and Arthur lemon tree. And they're going to live in this tree. And for the other good news, I broke ground today on a mole's home. <laughs> Now I know most of you probably knew this was going to happen because I cannot stand unused space and there was a lot of it under there so there's definitely going to be a mole's home under there and the reason why this tree is so high off the ground is, is because it's level with my other tree 
my gnome home. I'll swing over even though the lighting is awful. So there's my big gnome home. You can see that on video here on YouTube. I do have a video tour of it here on YouTube. Anyway, that one is high off the ground. It's sitting on a card table. So I wanted these two to be level and they're going to be connected with some ground here. I'll show you all that later. And of course I'm going to show you how I did the bark and how I painted the bark and that will be coming up on video ASAP along with some other updates. I made a bed and also installed a door I haven't showed you yet. So we'll end the video here guys and in the next update we should have 30 rooms instead of 29 because I am going to be rebuilding that skinny branch up there and we'll end up with another bedroom or maybe even two. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen next. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this update and we'll definitely see you super soon. Thanks so much for watching.